welcome back into the studio. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna be working in my junk journal that I still haven't finished the covers on, um, that I made quite a while ago. And I haven't worked in this in a really long time, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm gonna work on here because I've been dying to do something with this ledger. And I'm playing with um, Tiffany over at Southern Gal Designs and Michelle over at Michelney with the You Me Same Three. So I got my packet for February. And let's get this up. Ooh, pocket. I love pockets. You know I love pockets. Ooh, yummy, yummy pocket. Oh, fun. Okay. So, a nice ginormous pocket. And. Okay. So, this little piece. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take but by the number of moments that take our breath away. Oh, isn't that neat? Huh. Okay, so I've got this. Oh, it's like a hist uh, doctor's history, family history kind of thing. And this little milk token. Huh. It must have been like the way it's, I don't know. It's either a milk pog or, um, or labeling. I don't know. It's got this little indentation. Can you see it? Interesting. Well, I'm super excited about this. So I really don't have any plans other than I wanted to work right here on this two page spread which is a weird size one so I don't know if I'm going to integrate the second piece in or I don't know what I'm going to do well let's find out let's get started I know that I'm going to put some tape right here that is where I'm going to start so let's do that Okay, let's get that unstuck there. Yay! All right, let's get into this. All right, I have pulled out my background tote. This is where I have pieces of paper that I've put all the extra stuff, extra paint and stuff on them. And I'm just going through and selecting some that are catching my eye that will work. And then I'm going to start to decoupage those down along with these little pieces that I have in a basket that I'm just going through. Um, Tiffany would call these giblets. And, um, and then I'm going to pull out my gel medium and get to decoupaging those down um, along with the items that I received in my Use Me Same 3 pack. Thank you. 
Now you're going to see as I go to decoupage this paper down that I have obviously used something water soluble on it. And I'm pulling up some of that blue. And I kind of like that against the background and how translucent it was mixed with that matte gel medium. So I'm kind of scraping it up and kind of moving it so it appears on the other page as well. Some continuity between the two pages. Gonna get that good and dry. And I guess I'm just going back in and adding some more in spaces that I'm noticing after the fact. <laughs> Now I'm going to come in with some gesso and really with the gesso um, you can push back um, a lot of what's going on and, and you're under the paper underneath your collaging and um, another thing you can do depending on the amount of pressure you put on that palette knife you can make it more translucent more opaque um, so you can see some areas coming through uh, if you use it and go lighter with less gesso on it you can go over your textural areas and kind of catch and highlight some of those peaks and valleys or really the peaks um, you can soften the edges of your decoupage pieces and bringing all the elements kind of more cohesively in as one uh, piece and that is what I'm trying to do here with the gesso and using this palette knife. We got our differences. Yeah. I thought we were more. So I'm watering down this um, Payne's Gray significantly here and I'm going to create some uh, drippage going to push the edges back a little bit um, in the process of doing that also catching a lot of the texture as that color drips down into the textural areas catching on the high points and pulling into the valleys um, and I just this is one of the things I absolutely love about texture it's one of my favorite things it's like you know it's that ooh moment and um, so just going in with the round brush kind of on the side and then coming back in with my um, spray bottle adding water kind of moving the edges around with my finger drying at the same time um, keeps me from overworking it I find so and then just flipping it over and pretty much doing the exact same thing from the other side. that I've got that all dry I am going to go in with my fine liner this is filled with titanium white acrylic paint and airbrush medium and I'm just gonna do some really sketchy doodling um, nothing really obvious but just bringing back in some of the elements of that ledger in the background that I started with that I really like and then carrying it that through onto the left hand side and then I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do at first I wasn't going to use the quote on the back of this paper ruler but it f just felt so right you know and um, so I pulled off the bits that were still where the quote was not so that I could still have the 
images of the ruler appear in here. And um, I really did think this through. I wanted them on the same kind of plane. I wanted them kind of like, almost like the ruler was going backwards because I have the one on the right and the seven, eight on the left. But I wanted them in the same horizon line. So it looked like it was almost going behind you know, it really doesn't look like it went behind the other decoupage elements, but, um, you know, I, this was what's going through my head as I'm just doing and putting things down. Coming in with a Stabilo all pencil here and just pushing some areas back. Um, giving some shadow effects um, really just going in with it along edges of texture you'll see me moving my finger around trying to find the texture um, that the actual texture and because um, it's really hidden here with the visual texture so bringing a finger through finding the actual texture catching the edge with the stabilo all getting my finger wet and then smudging it to give that shadow effect. Uh, bringing in some darks, catching the textural areas so that it really, some f items just fall back a little bit or pop forward. Um, yeah, this also enables me to t kind of get back out of my head because I noticed that when I was putting those ruler pieces in that I was really overthinking it. And as you could tell by what I said earlier, <laughs> So I immediately went into locating texture, which ha has a tendency to pull me back out of my head and just do. So thankfully, you know, I've learned these things about myself a little bit and can rescue a situation. Okay. A dream that no now I'm thinking a little bit about um, how I want to handle my focal point. And I knew I wanted to use that milk topper as my focal point along with the quote on the back of the ruler. But there was this teal color in the milk top and it was bothering me that it just, I had the purple but the teal wasn't in there. And I recalled these pieces that um, Kristen Van Valkenburg had given me um, in our collaborative back in December and I felt like they would just be perfect and I had little pieces of it out of my basket that I had grabbed and um, so I'm getting those placed down just to incorporate that color back into the overall piece and then you're gonna see I'm gonna start working on that focal point You'll notice here I'm doing something I do a lot and I am decoupaging these items down for my focal point they do have hard edges which I don't like so I put the two hard edges against each other I do this a lot I've never really talked about it before but I thought I'd point it out so when I go to put these next pieces over it you really don't see that hard edge you just get that ragged edge from the alternative side of course so then I you know cover it all up but you know <laughs> it's there I know I did it If you have found me 
via Michelle's channel over at Michelney or Tiffany's channel, Southern Gal Designs, welcome. I hope you've liked what you've seen here and will consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not um, seen Michelle or Tiffany's Yumi Same 3 pieces, um, I will have links to those videos down below in my description box. Thank you. This narrow man